Hello everyone. Video, we are going to see the options, R options and Python options for one-way ANOVA. As you already might be knowing that one-way ANOVA is used for comparing the means for multiple populations. Not just that. For predictive modeling, whenever we want to explore the relationship between any numerical variable and any categorical variable, then that time also we can use ANOVA. So in the sense that if you encounter a p-value less than 0.05 for a certain relation between a numeric variable and a categorical variable, we can term that the numerical variable may be related to that categorical variable. Let's see now the options of ANOVA. Before that, let us start with one example. So hence, here we consider one agricultural experiment in which we have four parts of a particular plot, agricultural plot. We are taking the same agricultural plot because we want some of the conditions to be same for all the parts of the plot. These four parts of the plot, we are going to assign four different treatments. Maybe treatment in terms of fertilizers, organic fertilizers, or maybe it may happen that we don't apply any fertilizer at all. So no treatment can also be a treatment. Well, so we have four different treatments for four different parts of the plot, which is in the same geographical area. That means this plot will be, if, if it rains, it will rain on all the four plots. If it's sunny, it will be, it will be sunny on all the four, all the four plots. Okay, so some conditions are going to be same, but the treatments are going to be different. So we have a hypothesis that for some treatments, it may happen that the yield, the production will be bigger and for some production may not be bigger. Well, we plant not all equal number of trees in all the four plots. So for example, in the first plot, we, we plant some six trees, six, uh, six, some seven in the second one, five in the third one and six in again the fourth one. Now, our hypothesis for this is going to be that all the four treatment effects may be same. So we start with a null hypothesis for which all the four treatments may be same, means the yields from all the four treatments may be same. Okay. Now, after applying treatments for a specific uh, time period, we then check the yield of all the four plots or the trees in all the four plots. And here are our, uh, our uh, figures. Considering these figures and also considering the hypothesis, we have over here F test. You may wonder now, for the hypothesis of arithmetic mean, why are we using ANOVA test the way it is named, analysis of variance? Why the name analysis of variance? Why not the name analysis of means? Let me tell you that. Basically, over here in ANOVA, we consider a total variation of the data as a sum of between variation and within variation. Now, if variation within the groups is going to be bigger than the variation between, then in that case, the groups may not be homogeneous. Basically, 
for measuring between variation we have the sums of squares for treatment which we see over here for measuring within variation we have sums of square for error and uh, this is obviously called as total variation not total sums of squares now the sums of squares is divided by the degrees of freedom to obtain the estimate of variation or variance so basically the between variation and the within variation is basically taken the ratio the ratio is taken of these two terms if this variance ratio you see is bigger than a specific f ratio is bigger than a specific f table value then we then we consider that there may be a significant difference between the groups otherwise there might not be significant difference between the groups the table which has been presented over here is called as ANOVA table or analysis of variance table we don't require to manually calculate or write programs to calculate the sums of squares for treatment or sums of squares for error or any other thing our functions in python and in r do all the things let us see them one by one well as you see i have the data gathered means this data has been pivoted in a longer way so in case if you have different columns for 1 2 3 4 like this data if you have columns then for the purpose of r and python commands you require to gather them in one column you can apply pivot longer function or if it's python you may apply melt function pd dot melt function so having done this with treatment ids in the treatment column and all the yields together in one yield column well over here we can either apply aov function aov function in, another, in this fashion so you type the name while you type the name the numeric variable should be at the left of tilde and then the factor variable or i can say the treatments so the variable in which treatments are there needs to be in the uh, needs to be positioned after the tilde or otherwise you can opt for directly writing this uh, using dollar syntax your choice how you write it once you apply aov function let me tell you that sums of squares get calculated now ANOVA function if you apply ANOVA function then analysis of variance table gets created in your output you see over here this is a p-value 5.9 into 10 raised to minus 6 point not 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 uh, 5 times and then 594 so this value seems to be much much less than point not one point not one not 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 one hence we reject H0 and if we reject H0, surely we want to say that the four different treatments, four treatments are different. <laughs> Hence the conclusion that you see the treatments may be different is the conclusion. Now, if treatments are different, further it gives rise to some few more questions. One question will be if we are saying that mu1, mu2, mu3, mu4 is, is false, okay, 
then obviously it may happen that either is mu1 equal to mu2 is it the case that all the four mu's are different or is it the case that some of the mu's are equal and uh, some of the mu's are not equal or is it the case that one of one among these four is different so for testing these things we require Tucky's test of comparison well there are few more other options but in my session I am going to demonstrate the option of Tucky's test of compare uh, pairwise comparison it's called Tucky's HSD or I can say Tucky's honest significant difference test what we do is whatever is the object which has come out of this AOV function we we pass that object to Tucky HSD run this and hence we have this output let us understand this output considering this output well the difference is the difference between the means LWR and UPR are confidence interval limits and P P A D Z is the basically the P value. So over here in this test, pair pairwise differencing test have been ha, have been uh, conducted. Now the first one, first one seems that you have P value. You see less than 0.05 okay so let me mark over here at places where p value is less than 0.05 here it is here it is and the rows which haven't been marked are for them i can say that there is no significant difference say for example in this row second row the p value seems to be much much bigger than 0.01 not 1 or not 5 it's it means that there is no significant difference between treatment 1 and treatment 3 okay so treatment 1 and treatment 3 may be equal okay but that's not the case with treatment 2 and treatment 1 okay and between treatment 2 and treatment 1 what we see is the difference is positive and plus the difference is the p value is significant so we can say we can conclude with this that 2 may be greater than 1 likewise with the second significant pair we can say that 4 treatment number 4 may be having bigger yield than treatment number 1 about this particular line we can say which is a significant one well the difference is negative in the sense that we can say that 2 may be bigger than 3 and for this one for this line we can say that 4 may be bigger than 3 likewise summing this up we can also say that maybe 1 and 4 may be bigger than sorry 2 and 4 may be bigger than 1 and 3 so having seen the option in R using AOV function we will now see option in Python which is under the package stats models it's similar to that of R well in Python as we are looking at the options from stats models package first we import the data set and then using OLS function which seems to be similar to that of AOV function in R on the OLS object we apply dot fit function and hence generates the output it's similar to that of R and for forming our ANOVA table we require ANOVA underscore LM function now there are different layouts related to ANOVA table out of them we we require type 2 layout that's why type equal to 2 has to be given and hence is this ANOVA table 
which you can see in the output. Also, considering the Tuckey's HSD, we have the function called pairwise underscore Tuckey HSD, and you need to give the following things with this. So you 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 need to pass on directly the variables. So first argument is the numeric variable. Second argument is that categorical variable, and then the alpha. And now. The results which you see are not in the form of data frame. So we require to convert this into data frame with the help of pd.dataframe. The code which I am showing you will be shared in the description of the video. I will be providing the GitHub link related to this code and hence is our this layout which already was explained to you only the thing which you see different is the reject column which you see which you didn't see in the in the layout of uh, our output okay so it will be simpler for you to uh, to you know consider rejecting h naught or not rejecting h naught so for only those rows for which reject is equal to true there is a significant difference in that way you can read this table so thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and also for more updates from me please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also Press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.